warm welcome to you all from St. Gibbs College of Engineering. The word automation comes from the word automatic which means that things would work on their own without the assistance of a human being. In the age of internet, the world of automation has evolved and is with us wherever we go. For example, a refrigerator at home can find out when it is running out of food and can automatically go online in order to order more food without the need to do it ourselves. Another example is mobile phones which have been an organ in our body and is there with us wherever we go. So when we have meetings, it will estimate the travel time and even give us best direction. Through this basic of engineering program, we are planning to give a taste of what home automation really is. Here we are using RealGames Home IO software. The software can be downloaded freely from the Real Games website and trial version can be activated for 30 days. Okay, come on, let us see what the software can do. In order to start our new project, you have to select Home I.O. or click on this icon Home I.O. So in the next window, you have to click on New and you are about to start a new simulation and you have to confirm it. So this is your Home I.O. interface. So in order to own the garden lights, you have to visit the F section. Go to F section, you have to click on the F section. So F section is this, you have to click beside the F section. So here you can see the garden lights as well as the brightness sensor that is located on the this side of the wall. So the logic is based upon the brightness sensor input our garden lights should work. So at night time you don't you actually want your lights to be on and at day time you don't want actually want your lights to be on so here you have to activate the tags for calibration purpose so it has to be in calibration mode in order to program the tags 
so here click on the garden lights so it will turn to blue click until it turns to blue and now go near the brightness sensor so the brightness sensor has to be blue in order to program it so once these two sensors are in blue mode or in calibration mode you can go to your connect io interface in order to program this so i am minimizing this and i am going back to the desktop to select connect io so click on connect io so our connect io interface is opening so here you have to go to the tags section located in the left hand upside this is tag section so here you can see brightness sensor brightness sensor analog lights garden and lights garden analog so here you have to select the brightness sensor input so this is a input and the lights garden is the output so both input as well as output has to be dragged in and you have to wire it so for wiring you just have to select that point and create a wire so our program is complete now click on run now we are going back to our home io interface so now our logic is working right at day time lights are off but aerial also it was not working in order to check this at night time this light should be on so i am moving to night time say to low glow i am fast forwarding my interface or my simulation to night time to check whether the logic is working or not yes the logic is working very well that is the end of the project now we encourage you to try other simple projects using home io based on the same brightness sensor input like porch light activation and pool light activation if you have any doubts always feel free to contact us we are there to help thank you